This is a review video about Mini Tool Movie Maker, which we can use to make short movies of all of our favorite pictures and video clips with beautiful transitions, motion effects, text, and background music. By the way, presently this application is free to use, and the download link is given in the video description. Let's have a look at their website, where they are introducing their Mini Tool Movie Maker features, and we will quickly learn to use most of them in this video. So let's jump into it and explore Mini Tool Movie Maker and how we can quickly make short movies of our own. The welcome screen asks you if you want to create a new project, want to open a saved project or use movie templates to quickly start making videos. Let's first explore the movie templates and here we have a total of 9 templates category wise. You can look into all or choose from a specific category. Click the play button to see a preview of the template. And if you like it then click the next button to add your favorite pictures and videos to this template. You can go with the movie templates option if you want to make a video in a short period with predefined transitions, background music, text, and other effects. In the right side scenario pane, you can guess that how many photos and videos should be added according to the template length. You can add more images or videos in the empty frames by clicking on this small import button. If you want to edit or add text to your videos, then you can click this T button. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of formatting options for text here. After adding photos and videos, once it finishes the import then you can click the play button to see a preview, and if you like that then export it as a video. But if we start with a new project instead of a template then you get the full featured mini tool movie maker screen. On top, we have five different sections, media, transition, effect, text, and motion, and bottom we have the timeline. On the right side, we have the preview window. The timeline contains three tracks, one for text, one for pictures and videos, and one for music. So, we can begin by importing a few media files into the Movie Maker. Then you can either click the plus sign to add media to the timeline, or you can also drag and drop files over the timeline. To select multiple files at once, hold down the Shift key and then drop the files to timeline, or you can also use Ctrl plus A to select all. You can add background music by either importing the audio file first, or you can pick one from the media library. Minitool will automatically crop the rest of the audio if it is larger than the video length. Double-clicking on a clip in the timeline will bring the attributes window along with the preview pane, from where you can adjust different properties for your pictures and videos, like brightness, contrast, and the duration for how long you want to show the clip. You can also increase or decrease the length of a clip from the timeline. You can also zoom in or out of the timeline using this zoom slider. Right-clicking on a clip in the timeline can bring the edit window, or you can also delete that particular clip. To add text to our clips, we can move to the text section from the top, and here you already have predefined titles, credits, and caption. Hovering mouse over these credits will also show a small preview. You can add text to your clips at the playhead position, and can also increase decrease the duration. Unfortunately, you cannot add further tracks to your project. You can add transitions between clips from the Transitions tab and here we have around 97 transitions to choose from. Just drag and drop the transition between the clips, and you can zoom out the timeline while adding the transitions. You can also add effects and motion to your clips from the top section. Let me add a few of them and then I will show you the preview, and later we will export this project as a video. If you want to delete a motion or effect, 
Then just right-click on the corresponding icon in the timeline, and choose Delete. Once you are done with everything, see a preview. And finally click the Export button, where you will be asked to name, choose a file format, and the resolution. You can configure them accordingly and then click the Export button, and once it is done, here we have our video. So, I hope you will like the video. Let me know by liking, sharing, and commenting. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.